Hello, Booster Bus here, back at it again with the dual decks. Today, we got the Morphoke vs. Goblin. I don't know how many dual decks we're going to be able to get a hold of, but as they come, we'll open them for the channel. Um, also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment below what your favorite poll is in this video, and make sure you like the video. If you want to support the channel even more, you can become a patron. Link is in the description. Let's get into this. Okay, there it is. All shiny and everything. So we got the dual deck. Information. We got the actual deck boxes. Looking cool, looking cool. And the other deck box is a goblin. So it's more folk and goblins. We'll have some build that as we get into it. Here's the quick reference guide. So that's the little pamphlets that come with. Get into the box. Alright, the first dice is a just white magic sign dice. Other one is a red. Very nice, very nice. Alright. These are some weird deck boxes. Okay. This deck box is like a sideways deck box. Very nice. I've never seen deck boxes like this. I don't think they make them like this. Except for the dual decks. Another one is right here. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Alright, let's get in to the, the foil. Okay. First off, we have the one investigator. Cost two. Double strike when one investigator deals damage to an opponent. You may put a goblin creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Very nice, very nice. The other uh, creature we have is Master of Waves, cost 4, protection from red, elemental creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1, when Master of Waves enters the battlefield, get a number of 1 slash 0, blue, elemental creature tokens equal to its devotion to blue. Very nice. Alright. Going to do the red deck first. First rare we have is Goblin Diplomats. Cost two. Tap each creature tax this turn if able. The next card we have is Goblin Rabble Master. Cost three to cast. Creature Goblin Warrior. Other goblins you control attack each turn if able. At the beginning of your combat on your turn. Create a 1 1 goblin creature token with haste. Whenever goblin man attacks, it gets plus 1 until end of turn for each other attacking goblin. Very nice, very nice. Next up, we have Goblin Chieftain. Cost 3, haste, other goblin you control, get plus 1 plus 1. Very nice, very nice. Next up, we have. Goblin Goon, cost 4. Goblin Goon can't attack unless you control more creatures than defending player. Goblin Goon can't block unless you control more creatures than attacking player. Very nice, very nice. The next rare we have is Goblin Vase Runners. Cost 4. Tap 2. Sacrifice the land. Put a plus 1 plus 1 count on Goblin Vase Runner. At the beginning of your up end step, you may have Goblin Vase Runner deal damage equal to the number of plus one plus one health on it to target player. Very nice, very nice. Next rare we got is Cranko, my boss. Tap 4. Tap create X111 Goblin Creature Tokens when X is the number of goblins you control. Jeez, I wish those Cranko was in standard. Nice Cranko. Next up we have, there is Relentless Assault, to call it to score, untap all creatures 
that attack this turn after this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Very nice, very nice. So many rares in this deck, jeez. Alright. Next we have Brittle Eff Effigy. Cost 1. Exile Bell, Exile Target Creature. Next rare and last rare for the red deck is Goblin Char Belcher 4. Tap 4 revealed card from the top of your library until it revealed land card. Goblin Char deals damage equal to the number of non land cards revealed this way to target creature. Will play if the if the real land card was a mountain. Goblin Chieftain builds or deals down, double damage instead. Put the real cards from bottom of your library in any order. Very nice, very nice. All right, now we go to the commons and uncommons to see what we get. Uh, Foundry Street Battle Squad Squadron Goblin Tunneler Who Got Brute Goblin Glory Chaser Ember Hauler Goblin War Driver. Gem Palm Incinerator, Goblin Ringleader, which is now in the 2000 core 2020, um, Foundry Street, we got some mountains, some special mountains. This says forgetting cave into the battlefield tapped. Tap for mana. Then we got the uh, add aim sacrifice this. Deal two damage to target player. Then we got some tar fire. Brute strength. Crankle's command. Which was create two one one goblins. Nice. Then we got some ghost fire. And Goblin Grenade, Outburst, Clever Rot, and then we got one, two, three, four, five Goblin Tokens. Well, that's it for the Red Deck. Let's move, oh, clear this out and move on to the Blue Deck, the Murloc Deck. We're all wondering what Murlocs leak in the shadows. Or lurk, not leak. Lurk. Okay. Yeah. First, we got Harbinger of Tides. Cost two. You may cast Harbinger of Tides as though it has flash. If you pay two more to cast it, when this enters the battlefield, you may return to tapped creature prone control to its owner's hand. Very nice. Master of Pearl Trident. Cost two. All the mill creatures you control get plus one plus one and have island walk. They can't be blocked as long as defending player controls an island. Nice. Tide Bender Mage, cost two. And Tide Bender Mage enters the battlefield. Tap target green or red creature and mill controls. That creature doesn't untap until it's controlled. Untap step as long as you control this card. Wake Thrasher, cost three. Whenever a permanent you control becomes untapped, wave thrasher gets plus one plus one crown to unturn. Murfolk Sovereignty cost three. Other Mur other Murloc creatures you control get plus one plus one tap. This can't be blocked this turn. Engulf the shore cost four. Return their return to the owner's hand all creatures with less than or equal to the number of islands you control. Uh, misdirection cost four. You may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay the mana cost. Uh, charge the target. Change the target or target spell with a single target. Oh. Mine spring. X island island. Draw X cards. And then lastly we got cold eyed slecky. Island Walker, whenever a color deals common damage to a player, you may draw that many cards. Alright, going to the commons and uncommons. 
First off, we have Trident Warrior, Root Water Hunter, Scroll Thief, Stim. We got three of those. Ink Fathom Divers, Morphok Looter, Morphok Wayfinder, Moro Rejo, Root Water Hunter, Trident Warrior, Trident Carrier. We got some islands. Just trying to get through all the islands here. Right now we got normal lands, tap, add mana, sacrifice, our two cards. Then we got the will. Four of those, okay. Scatter, Essence Scatter, Titan Wave, uh, Claustrophobia, Trident Tactics, Concentrate, and then we got one, two, three, four, four elemental tokens and a wall token. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. This video has been brought to you by your boy, Booster Beast. Goodbye.